What is it that we're constantly told about the so-called mainstream media? We're told that they're so-called authoritative sources, meaning that whatever they say is trustworthy because they're the authorities. They know what they're talking about because they work in the world of fact. Back in the real world, these sources are constantly getting it wrong. Like in this case, where the media instantly jumped on a small 10 second video that appeared to show border guards on horseback defending the border against migrants who were attempting to illegally enter the country. Left-wingers in the media instantly claimed that the border patrol were using whips against this migrant, but that actually just turned out to be the reins of the horse. I am a great magician. Your clothes are red! Even now, when we know the initial story about whips being used was bunk, they are apparently doubling down. The idea um, about anything that is systemic, that it's baked into the system, isn't that evidence that the system needs to be reformed? That, that is the, that's the definition of systemic, whatever it is. Systemic racism, systemic whatever, it's built into the system. The system is created or is set up in a way that it isn't fair to anyone, really. I agree. If you're a minority in this country, you're labeled as the enemy. You're labeled as dirt. You're labeled as a drug dealer, or a rapist, or a criminal, or a virus. Okay, I want to show you some unbelievable images shot near Del Rio, Texas. This video from over the weekend shows a horse patrol for U.S. Customs and Border Protection trying to corral human beings like cattle, chasing after Haitian migrants trying to cross back into the United States. These horrifying images seem far more reminiscent of the Fugitive Slave Acts of the 1790s and 1850 and not 2021. I was not aware that whips um, which come from the slave era, slavery era, were part of the package that we issue to any sort of law enforcement or government sanctioned personnel. Were you aware that that was being issued to people, that people had that kind of equipment on them that they could use on humans? Images showing Border Patrol agents on horseback as they try to stop them from crossing the river into the U.S. The White House seeking answers. A number of agents on horseback can be seen trying to keep migrants from crossing into the country while threatening them with what appears to be horse horses, reins, or ropes, including families like this one holding a baby when the agents get dangerously close. As they try to pass, the agent said this to them. Hey, you use your women? This is why your country because you use your women. Uh, they were using women and children as shields. Is he wrong? I'm going to dive a little deeper into this story, but first, give me just 30 seconds to tell you about this free coin offer for my viewers. Now, inflation isn't something that we've heard of in a while, is it? But last month, the inflation rate in the U.S. had the highest rise in the last 29 years. You heard me right, the last 29 years. Noble Gold specializes in retirement planning and IRAs, so their team of experts is your first step. This month, they're offering a one ounce American Eagle solid silver proof coin with every IRA or 401k taken out. Visit our website at noblegoldinvestments.com or just click the link in the description or pinned comment. Okay, first off, the media is completely ignoring the fact that the Biden administration has been ignoring cries for help from the Customs and Border Protection agencies for months. These guys are out in the middle of nowhere, in areas that are so remote and dangerous, they have to use horses. And these guys have been begging for help as tens of thousands of migrants are illegally entering the country. It's so out of control, tent cities are springing up under an overpass in Del Rio, Texas. But they'll do whatever they have to do to deflect and cover for the Biden regime. Just ask your would they be covering like this if it were the Trump administration? Now, before I get into the Border Patrol's answer for what happened here, I want to go over a couple of the things that people in the media have said about this. I was not aware that whips, um, which come from the slave era, slavery era, were part of the package that we issue to any sort of law enforcement or government sanctioned personnel. No, they're not issued whips. And the slightest bit of research into this would have told you that. But you know what they are issued? Guns. But I want to reiterate to our audience, it is not illegal to seek asylum in the United States. It is not. No, that's actually not true. There are rules for seeking asylum in the U.S. For example, at least when Trump was president, asylum seekers had to seek asylum in the first country that they entered. And also when Barack Obama was president, he made it very clear to asylum seekers that refugee status was not granted to somebody just because they live in a dangerous neighborhood or are very poor. Under U.S. law, uh, you know, we admit a certain number of refugees from all around the world based on some fairly narrow criteria. Uh, and typically, refugee status is not granted just based on uh, economic need or uh, because 
a family lives in a bad neighborhood or poverty, uh, it's typically defined uh, fairly narrowly. Oh, this is bad. This is very bad. Your clothes are black. So the Border Patrol put out a statement confirming that none of the Border Patrol have whips, and they see no evidence of anyone being beaten with reins, saying, quote, agents use their reins for a lot of reasons. Primarily, it's used to steer the horse, but agents will also spin them sometimes to deter people from getting too close to the horse. If they get too close, the horse can step on them, breaking bones or causing other injuries. Agents also need to maintain control of their reins so that they don't lose control of the horse, which can cause injuries to immigrants, the agents, and the horse. We are not aware of anyone being struck with the rain. Your clothes are red! So, yeah, it seems like what we have here is a situation that was really caused by the lawlessness on the border that has been allowed to continue by the Biden administration and the vice president that's supposedly in control of this border crisis, Kamala Harris, who, don't worry, has now launched an investigation to find out who's responsible for this. What I saw depicted about um, those individuals on horseback treating human beings the way they were is horrible. And um, I fully support what is happening right now, which is a thorough investigation into exactly what is going on there. <laughs> All right, folks, that's all I have for this one. Just another example of the media throwing the Border Patrol under the bus and twisting reality in order to prop up a Democrat administration, a failing Democrat administration. As always, if you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button and maybe even subscribe too. Don't forget to hit the bell icon and then leave me a comment to let me know what you think.